This is a video on how to remove and paint heat shields from a Gullwing S6B or a full-size Gullwing. That's a before picture, that's an after picture. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am in no way a technician, I'm just trying to help people who have a common goal. Follow this video at your own risk. Some before pictures, notice the chrome heat shields. This is a stock 2014. Before you start, make sure you place the motorcycle on a center stand. First, you're going to remove your belly penny in the event that you have one. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket wrench and possibly a 3 millimeter hex key depending on which belly pan that you have. This belly pan shown is a show chrome belly pan. This one here is underneath the belly pan showing the oil filter cover. Here is a the protector assembly, you'll see two, two screws there, or two bolts. That's going to be for your 10 millimeter socket wrench. Step two, you're going to remove your lower front cowl. You'll need a five millimeter hex key. There's a total of six screws and two black push pins. Four screws on the top, two push pins on the top, and two screws on the bottom, both on each right and left side. Step three, you're going to remove your left and right protector assembly. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Picture there is the left and right protector assembly. There shown is going to be two holes using a 10 millimeter socket wrench. You'll need to remove those bolts. You're going to need to gently pull from underneath the bolts once you remove it toward you. You'll hear two clicks from the bolt holes. Toward the front of the bike there's a bolt connecting the protector assembly to the bike. Remove this using a 10 millimeter socket wrench. There's the bolt as shown. Jiggle the protector assembly then pull toward to the front of the bike. Notice the grommet holes in the next picture. Next, you're going to remove the exhaust tips. You're going to need an 8 millimeter socket wrench. There are three bolts from each tip. There are the three bolts as shown toward the bottom and the inside of the bike. Next, you're going to remove the exhaust. You'll need a 6 millimeter hex key and a 12 millimeter socket wrench. There pictured is the joint clamp toward the top. Now the light is showing right on the joint clamp. You're going to remove those two bolts with the six millimeter hex key. Pictured there is a bolt under the saddle bag which mounts the exhaust. You're going to use the 12 millimeter socket wrench to remove that bolt. There's the joint clamp. You're going to need to remove that from the exhaust and move it over toward the pipe. Use a 12 millimeter socket wrench with the extender to remove the bolt that's under the saddle bag. There shown is the bolt under the saddle bag. You're going to need to jiggle the exhaust, pull it forward and also back. Pull it toward the rear of the bike. Notice the two grommets on inside the front heat shields. That's the removed exhaust. To remove the front heat shields, you're going to need the 5 millimeter hex key. Pictured there is the 5 millimeter screw. You're going to remove that with the hex key. There's all the parts. The next step, it's time to prep and paint the front heat shields, exhaust, and tips. You're going to clean all the parts with water, rub in alcohol. I also used a little bit of baby shampoo. 
You're also going to mask off the areas that you don't want paint to hit. For example, I actually masked off the inside of the tips and all around the heat shields. After you've laid out all the plastic around your work area, it's time to paint. Just a reminder, make sure where you paint, it's a well ventilated area. The paint that I use is the VHT Flame Proof Paint. You can purchase that paint through Pet Boys or AutoZone. Follow the instructions on the can. Picture there is pretty much the final product after three coats of lightly sprayed paint. You're going to wait for the paint to be completely dry. It's recommended about 24 to 40 hours before you handle the, the parts. After the painted parts are completely dry, remove all the masking tape. When you reinstall the exhaust of the bike, make sure the exhaust goes over the ring on the pipe. Remember to slide the join clamp to the exhaust and screw the bolts back in. Screw the bolt under the setup bag to properly mount the exhaust. You'll need to jiggle the exhaust back and forth for proper alignment. That picture there is underneath the front heat shield. There's the joint clamp. Make sure it goes over the exhaust. Picture there's the joint clamp slid over the exhaust. Notice the, the bolts facing downward. Now it's time to reinstall the heat shields. Now it's time to reinstall the exhaust tips. Before reinstalling the protector assembly, mask the front half of the heat shield top to bottom to prevent scratching the paint. That's a lesson I learned. Next you're going to reinstall the protector assembly. Picture there's the protector assembly. That's the inside of the protector assembly. Notice the grommet hooks, those two grommet hooks will slide over those two on the bike and those two holes will fit into those two screws. These two grommet hooks will slide over that grommet hook and this one. That hole will match up to this hole for you to screw in the bolt. Carefully remove the masking tape from the heat shield after you assemble the protector assembly. Here are some after pictures of my project after I painted the heat shields exhaust and the tips. The final step is to cure the paint. You're going to place your bike on idle for 10 minutes and then cool the bike for 20 minutes. Then you're going to run it at idle for 20 minutes and then cool the bike for 20 minutes. Then you're going to start the bike and ride it under normal operating conditions for 30 minutes. After the ride, you'll let the bike cool, which completes the curing process. And that completes the project. Here's a final look of the before and after pictures of this project. I painted my pipes approximately three or four weeks ago and I've been very pleased with the results. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have found this helpful. Feel free to leave any questions or comments. Thank you.